already, get everybody in high spirits, get them very, very, very uh, energized. It's going to be a very long day, but should be fun. Basically, we have two main directors on one of them. The other one is Travis, who will come in a little bit later. And then we have a couple people, one director, one pieces, but mostly it's split between me and Travis, so I'll be running and kind of doing the teaching thing. I'm the oldest person, I'm the fourth year, and the only fourth year taking part in this thing, so I'm kind of bringing the old, my experience to the whole thing, so should, should be okay as long as people are back. Just... Because a lot of the members of the MSAYU are composers that want to head into the game industry or film industry, um, naturally, I had the idea and it was sort of a collaborative thing, really, to organize a show similar to Video Games Live or like the Zelda Symphony Orchestra, but actually make it student-run, student-produced, and uh, you know, organize a student orchestra to play music from famous themes from TV, film, and video games. The whole media music stream is very popular, i found, with our age group and our generation. People seem to connect with that a lot, and so we thought we'd open it up to all forms of media, organized by students, run by students, played by students, all that kind of stuff. So it's uh, really exciting. I'm really looking forward to it. So. orchestrated a piece for this concert, so I'll be conducting that one as well. Let's go from the top one more time and then we'll call it a day because I know these guys are going to faint. Yes, we have survived the marathon. Um, most music students are not used to playing 12 hours straight. Um, so I, I think the day went great. I think it went very, very successful. The stuff that was supposed to go wrong went wrong, which is great. It's good news because it's natural and like, we're just fixing all the problems that need to be fixed. It was long, it was difficult, um, but in the end I think we did a lot of good work and I'm really excited for the concert. Uh, well, our room won't open, so we have to get security over here and open it. And right now we're just sitting tight until we can get the key. Other than that, everything's running smoothly so far. <laughs> so they're sending in somebody right now to uh, open the door. No, it's just uh, we didn't get into the room in time because the key we had didn't work, so we had to call security and it was a whole thing, so we lost some time in that part. Today we're just running through all the pieces, fine-tuning the pieces that we need to rehearse still, and then at 3 o'clock, 3, 4 o'clock, we're going to do a dress rehearsal of the whole show here in the Martin Family Lounge. So we're going to have the projectors with the uh, screens, we're going to have the stand music, um, the wires, and we're just trying to get everything organized. It's interesting at this point, because like, as you know, we've only had two rehearsals, and uh, there's some issues with some of them that are just kind of hard to work out this close to it and you know people are getting tired 
Even professional orchestral rehearsals normally only go for three hours, so this is quite a lot to ask of them, and they're still developing players, so it's just, it's tough. That's, uh, that's what I say about it, but it's going, I guess it's going pretty well as it, as it can, I think. I don't know, I think it's it's a great way for people who wouldn't normally have the opportunity um, to get their arrangements and their music out, so uh, I know it's a great experience for me just because I wouldn't normally be able to compose or arrange something and get a bunch of people to just perform it for me. We've got some really talented people here, like, arranging everything and, and you know, really putting themselves to the test. And I like that we're finally approaching things that way and allowing people to apply their abilities. And belief in that we're doing something really big and good that can be carried over the next few years. So... Stay, stay there with us. Well, I'm hoping it comes out, everything comes out perfect. And it's things like these, the essence of these things is time, because these are based, these are composed based on the time scale. You have this amount of minutes to fit in this amount of music. So everything's got to be perfect and in time. Because once we transition the orchestra from 231, which is the large orchestra room, to the lounge, things are going to be much more compact. I think uh, Thursday's going to be a great show. Uh, we're going to finalize the ticket sales tomorrow, and it looks like it's going to be sold out. We're done! <laughs> <laughs> what do you think is the next step? Uh, well, we got to do sound check on Thursday, and then we got to do the concert and see what happens. That's that. I'm going to bed now. Some people are nervous, most of us are just really excited. We're just pumped with energy, like there's there's such a good vibe in, in the air right now. The reason why I'm coming actually, I'm going to be completely honest, I saw Parks of the Caribbean on the poster and I was like, sold! I was excited for um, all the energy and all the music. Yeah. Also to see some of the pieces that haven't been necessarily played with the orchestra yet, it's going to be wonderful, I can't wait. Everything's been done, uh, the setup is done, mics are up, everything's ready. We're just waiting for 6 o'clock to come around. Uh, so my friends are performing, it's going to be a lot of fun. I've heard it's going to be uh, a very multi-faceted show. Yeah.
I was just ecstatic. Like I was, I had a smile through the whole show. Really happy to see my friends performing their arrangements. Really epic stuff. Really diverse music, and uh, the audience loved it. I have nothing more to say other than you know we are ready to start doing bigger things next year and so on. You know, um, and I really look forward to that. So that's a wrap.